wow it's been a very long 10 years <clears throat> and all i just want to do right now is just to give glory to god because god said i would never share my glory with anybody i would make people wonder i'll make people keep wondering because god's ways are not our ways when my father left this world i said to myself what's going to happen what next but when we remember what the bible says i am the father of the fatherless and i'm the husband to the widow we have no problem and we've had no problem since our father left even till now and we would never have any problems we will continue to remember our father for good because he was a wonderful and loving man and that is the reason why we decided to come up with the love foundation the Lake Adesue Foundation Love. Not for any reason, but just to remember our Father. How wonderful and loving He was. How kind He was. And I would like to say something. It's it's a channel. If you are looking to help people, if you are looking to support people and you really don't know how support the Lake Adesoye Foundation today life the little way I know how about life is is that it's a small marketplace this earth to be precise and one day we all leave and go back home I will tell the Father in heaven what and what we are able to do in the marketplace. So let's let's all come together. Life is very short. That's what that's what I figured out from my father. Life is very short. The little things we can do to make people happy is what counts. It's 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 the ultimate goal in life i would like to thank my mother um for holding down the family for 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 supporting us i have have had so many people down the years while schooling they tell me that are you sure your father is late I say yes and then I, I i just smile and give glory to god my mother is a very wonderful woman. Smart, intelligent, wise. Her head, inside it, is a gold mine. If I had her as my business partner, I would pay for her security, I would pay for her well being. I want to thank her very much. On behalf of my kids and my wife, I want to say thank you for coming to this occasion. And as you support Lake Kwanadiswe Foundation, God will support you, God will support your family, and God will make everything wonderful at the right time for you and your family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hello. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know where to start from. Um, I miss my dad. I really do. Um, okay, so just a quick story. Um, the last thing I did for my dad was cook. So I cooked him dinner or supper, one of the two. And uh, we went back to school, right? So we were in school. Everything was good. And then he came to pick us up at school saying that my dad's not feeling fine and then myself and my sister we went home right and then when we got off the car the first thing I noticed was on the gate 
there was um a pamphlet or like a sign saying uh obituary of olaleko arisui and i was like oh my god am i seeing double <laughs> you know i and then i was I, I couldn't believe it like you know i i was sh i couldn't i didn't even know what to do right and then that was it I realized he passed away right and I miss him I really do miss him um, the last gift my dad gave me was a Bible and I really I see that as a very important gift you know get close to God um, serve God and I'm very thankful and the best gift my dad ever gave me is my mom like I can't I can't imagine me with another mom um, he picked the best mom for me and I'm super thankful she's been there she's been my father my mother and God's been there too like you know everything's fine I'm I'm very happy with where where I'm at right now and I'm just thankful to God that um, everything's falling in place regardless of the situation and I can't believe it's 10 years now 10 years since he left and it just feels like it's yesterday. I miss him so much. I I do miss my dad. Like I just I I'll do anything, anything for a five second hug. Just to hug my dad, just to, you know, give him a peck, kiss my dad and just tell him how much I love him. But I know everything. <laughs> ah, sorry, I'm just emotional right now i know everything happens for a reason and god god knows best god knows god knows everything <laughs> he knows best and there's a reason why everything happens and i'm just thankful i'm thankful through it all i'm thankful i'm just all i have to say is thank you lord you know and you know life goes on till we meet again i love my dad i miss you life goes on till we meet again Sunreo. <laughs> i don't know what to say again but um i'm just i'm thankful you know um i don't know what to say <laughs> Hello everyone, um, my name is Del Lopez Isay and um, I'm the last one as you all know and my major is economics, I'm in the university right now um, so I'll just go straight to the um, foundation and the library uh, the library was an idea of my dad before he died but I just did died so it was not it was it didn't it wasn't able to like do stuff like that but anyways I'm very grateful to my mom for bringing up this idea and yeah he loved reading books and encouraged all of us to read books as well just to learn new things and stuff like that and yeah that's pretty much it about the book part and stuff like that then for the charity and the organization itself it's just to help people and put a smile on people's faces because not everybody's um, privileged to have like to to have like comfort like money and lots of comfort and stuff like that so it's going to be really nice to help people and I'm also very grateful um, for all what I learned from my dad it was very very nice and we're like very we're very close we're like best friends and I remember the last time um, I talked um, we had a conversation before he died um, I went into his room and I told him to tell me something weird or something special something different and he told me that um, um, that you just be good to people and be nice and even when people try to bring you down or do really terrible things to you just to be good because just make sure you see you 
you your main goal in life is to make people see people smile and stuff like that and told me how I'm going to go through challenges in life and stuff like that but I would I should just be nice and my nice my me being nice to people would help me and stuff like that and yeah that's pretty much it about my dad I wouldn't really go into details because I might cry and stuff like that because I really really love him and I really miss him but yeah he was a very very nice person and he inspired me to be very nice to people and stuff like that and yeah I want to thank my mom my mom was a very very is a very nice person to me she has helped us through everything through it all like she's 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 bae she's bae <laughs> for real but anyways um so um different mothers will like will have decided oh okay let's ignore this my husband said now nah, let me just do whatever i want or like um not not work hard to make my kid my kids be better people in life and stuff like that but she has done so much stuff for us like she's the only one every time doing stuff and praying for us and stuff like that which is very good and I'm very very grateful to her she is an amazing person and she inspires me to be a very very good mother and a good friend to people um, my siblings have been very amazing as well both to me and Toby they've been my support system as well through school and everything when I need to talk to someone I call them and stuff like that and yeah that's pretty much it anyways the and I'm very grateful to God so far for where it's brought me and my family members and I'm very thankful to everyone for acknowledging the invitation and being here today. I wish I was there with you guys but school and everything, school basically because I'm writing exams right now but anyways. <sighs> if I could get another Another walk, another